Hello everyone, Marat here. So just want to give you a brief update about CRISPR therapeutics and specifically about the best drug candidate that is kind of further away in the pipeline, CTX001. So and specifically why I want to talk about it that as you know they partner with Vertex to develop this drug and Vertex released a quarterly report on Friday. And we're looking at this cold transcript from earnings report. So, and what's so interesting specifically that I want to bring to your attention, that they were commenting about CTX001. So first they saying that it's around 170,000 patients in sickle cell disease and beta thalassemia US and Europe combined. Yes, yeah, they're talking about 30 patients being dosed already and that they planning to finish this clinical trial this year. And now it's a main news. So based on conversation today, we believe regulatory submission for approval of CTX001 may be possible in next 18 to 24 months. We'll provide further details as we have it. So why it's important? So basically it's the first time we see that any company is given a deadline about submission for new drug application. So, and after these 18 months to 24 months, they will submit all the documents for CTX001 to FDA. And then FDA will look through them and it will give approval or it will deny approval. And why I believe it's important that Vertex is saying this, that seems to be they not worried about, you know, these clinical trials any further. So they just want to finish it according to their procedure but they're already happy with their current results and they are so confident that they don't see that anything bad can happen in the remaining time. So for me, it's a matter of time when they will get approval and now we have a deadline. I mean, it's still approximate, of course it's not like a date or something like this, but we can tell that in two to three years they expect this drug to be on the market. And it's not, you know, like some guess from me or somebody else on YouTube, it's coming from Vertex, who actually own 60% of this drug as of right now. Of course, we still have to wait till clinical trials will be finished, but in my opinion, this is very good news for the whole industry in general. And I believe on the approval of this drug, all CRISPR companies will go up in price because it will mean that basically this method is working and that it's just a matter of time when these drugs will be on the market. So this is what I want to tell you in this video. And let me know in the comments if you believe that this is a good timeline, if you're happy with this, or you expected it a bit earlier, maybe this year. I mean, just tell me what is your opinion in the comments. And I'll see you in the next one.